Hello, welcome to What Time Watch Time. Today we're looking at another Submariner, and this one is this lovely green winner Submariner. Um, it comes in this box, it's sort of cheap, very cheap <laughs> pillow, um, and a couple of extra links, and which I took out, uh, and that's it. That's all you get in the box. Let's get rid of that. Right, so the watch itself, here we go. So I've gone for the green here because I wanted to just see what it looked like basically. Um, this is a 40 or 38 mil diameter um, like on the dial here. If you include the crown, it comes in at 43. It's a uh, 46 um, lug to lug. So not very big. It's got a um, 20 mil at the top here on your strap and it tapers down to 18 mil at the clasp and it's 12 mil in its depth. So not, not a bad size, 12 mil. Again, will go underneath your uh, shirt and everything like that as well um, on, on your cuffs. So not bad. It's got obviously a date magnifier and like I say, it's an automatic. So you can see there by the movement, it does move not too badly. Uh, it's got these loom, like put on the hour markers and everything. And as you can see, if you can see by the 10 o'clock mark, pretty shoddy, <laughs> to be honest. Not good. And they don't really, uh, I haven't actually seen any loom on this at all. So I'm going to assume they're just there for show. Because um, on mine anyway, it does not work. Uh, there is no loom. It's got a polished um, case on here and on the strap, which is polished on the outside and then brushed on the center. I personally prefer brushed on the outside, polished on the center myself. The clasp here is your two button clasp. Fairly good. It's uh, quite secure um, and it does click in easy every time. You've got a display back on here, which is obviously not a screw back or anything like that. It's just normal pushing back. Uh, no detailing whatsoever standard Chinese movement unfortunately uh, with no extra you know I mean they've taken a little bit out of the flywheel I suppose but again there's nothing on there it doesn't say winner there's no design on there whatsoever uh, and you can see obviously it's got um, they're not solid end links either which you wouldn't expect um, on a watch that costs this amount of money it's got a 60 click bezel which sounds a bit nasty i've got to admit and it's got a lot of movement in it and i don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera oh yeah you can just where my finger is there if i can get this to you might be able to see it's it, the actual uh bezel here is coming off can you see maybe you won't be able to see you see the gap under there push that down yeah it's it's a bit a bit loose and the bezel itself obviously moves which you expect at this sort of money um but not too much but a little bit it does move a little bit nothing on the crown there's no you know it's just a plain crown they don't put anything on there um you can wind it yourself which is always nice um Obviously, automatic function on there as well. It doesn't say online if it's well. It might have said thirty meters uh, water resistant. I personally wouldn't put this in water. I don't think it's going to be water resistant at all. <laughs> personally, um, oh, the other thing to mention, obviously, this has got folded links, not solid links. A little bit rattly, um, unfortunately, but you know, for the money, it's not too bad. This is a smaller diameter watch, so on your wrist, it does look a little bit smaller uh, than I'd want it to, really. Um, personally, I prefer something a little bit bigger, um, maybe only a few mil, but just a little bit bigger. Um, but, I mean, this watch was £11, and that included delivery. It's an automatic, granted Chinese, but it is an automatic. Um... I mean, there's a few things like this end link here. I don't like the way it does, you know, that bit there. I don't like that at all. 
um, it always looks a bit cheap and nasty. I mean, if you take in consideration, <coughs> this is a Tavis, and that's got a solid piece here, and that just looks a lot nicer um, than it does on here. So, and it does tend to do this. And you see, like it does that. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah. So it does look a bit cheaper, a bit nasty, unfortunately. But for a nice, you know, cheap submariner looking watch that you're not you're not going to care too much about it's okay to be honest with you i wouldn't want to pay more than sort of maybe 11 12 pound for one you can get it cheaper and even better uh it has got a bit of sunburst on the dial um the green is a little bit too light for my liking and also on the dial here the like the actual writing is not you can see on the 50 there if i can get it to to focus properly let's have a look See if we can get it to focus on the mm, reflection too much. No, you can kind of see. You know, it's it's not very uh, it's not very well done. It looks a bit smudgy. I suppose that's the word. Um, but again, it was eleven pounds. Um, it's pretty good, really. Eleven quid with an automatic. Uh, it's not bad. But I wouldn't want to wear this as my daily uh, driver. To be honest with you, it's just not quite good enough. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and I shall see you in the next one.